Did you know that under your feet right at this moment there might be a volcano waiting to be born? Imagine this. Our Earth's crust isn't a solid shell. It's actually made up of pieces like a giant jigsaw puzzle. And these pieces are called tectonic plates. They're constantly shifting, moving and interacting, albeit at a snail's pace. These slow but tenacious movements are what give birth to volcanoes. Yes, volcanoes are born right beneath us but how does that happen? Let's find out. Volcanoes, a fascinating yet dangerous natural phenomenon, are much more than just mountains spewing lava. When we think of a volcano, it's easy to picture a towering peak belching fire and ash. But what is a volcano really? A volcano is essentially a rupture or break in the Earth's crust. This crust, the surface layer of our planet, is composed of several large plates. These plates are in constant albeit slow motion. Sometimes they move apart, collide or slide against each other, creating cracks or weaknesses. It's through these openings that molten rock or magma, debris and gases can escape from beneath the surface. This magma, when it reaches the surface, can form a mountain over time, which we commonly refer to as a volcano. But not every volcano forms a picturesque mountain, and not every mountain is a volcano. So, a volcano is really a vent in the Earth's surface, but not all volcanoes are the same. While all volcanoes may seem similar, they are actually classified into different types based on their shape, size, and activity. Now let's delve into the three main types of volcanoes, shield, cinder cone, and composite, also known as stratovolcanoes. First up, shield volcanoes, named for their broad, shield-like shape. These giants are formed from low-viscosity lava that flows far and wide, resulting in a wide and flat appearance. Think of them as the gentle giants of the volcano world. Next we have cinder cone volcanoes, these are the smaller, angrier siblings in the family. They have steep slopes and are known for their explosive eruptions. They might be small, but they sure are fiery. Lastly, we have the stratovolcanoes. These are the tall, conical ones that you often see in movies. They're known for their violent eruptions, and their alternating layers of lava and ash make them a force to be reckoned with. Each type of volcano has its own unique characteristics and can cause different types of eruptions. So, we've journeyed beneath the Earth's crust, and explored the fiery world of volcanoes. We've discovered that these powerful forces of nature are born from the movement of tectonic plates. We've defined a volcano as an opening in the Earth's crust, from which molten rock, debris, and gases are ejected. And we've learned about the three main types of volcanoes, shield, cinder cone, and composite. Next time you think of a volcano, remember, it's not just a mountain spewing lava, but a fascinating and complex natural phenomenon.